money, love of money, oh, and Mouth peace, voice of the nation. Mouth peace, voice of the nation. Voice of the nation. Mouth peace. You are all welcome. Thank you, thank you. I am happy that you left your comfort zones from your various states to be here this hour. I call this meeting because we are one voice. We are not a political party. We don't belong to any party. But we are the mouthpiece of the nation. We speak the good. We tell our leaders what they're supposed to do. And that is why they call me electromagnetic in nature. And that is why I operate in a very high frequency. Because I am one man's call. Ophonye and They try us, we eat you raw. We are peacemakers. I call this meeting now because of one thing. Our leaders promised us four years ago, three years ago, twelve years ago, nine years ago, and eight years ago. The things they would do for us, and we accepted them. We voted all of them in. In your constituencies and your state, have you seen any of the things they promised? No, no, no. They didn't do one. They did it the first time they promised us, they did it the second time we voted them in. Some of them have gone third one. They still want to go again now. Are we foolish? No, we are not. So we are saying with peace and one voice, let them respect themselves and go back to their houses and stay while we vote in the right people to lead us. Yes. Because we believe what the Bible says that we should respect our leaders. Mm -hmm. And that is why we are saying let them step down for others to go and let us move to our promise. Right. We are tired, and I'm sure the way I am tired, all of you is also tired. tired. Now, what am I saying in essence? Nobody, none of us, you go back to your various communities and constituencies and your state and make this announcement that nobody should vote any leader who has been in that seat for over eight years and 12 years still want to go again. If they say they want to go back, let us show us what they have done for us. Yes. All the things they promise, if they have done it, let them show. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, yes sir. We are not going to vote. Your PVC is your power. Yes. Keep it tight and keep it safe. At the day of that election, that is what we use to vote in the right person. Have I made myself clear? Yes. yes. Mad peace. Voice of the nation. The mad peace. Voice of the nation. The voice of the nation. The mad peace. All the contestants will be visiting them one after the other. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, yes sir. sir. You're going to visit them one after the other. Mm -hmm. We assess what they have done. Anyone that is not qualified must step down. Yes. <laughs> For sure. If the person insists, nobody will vote. For him. Our parents are dying. Pensioners are dying every blessed day and day and night. They don't even care. Thank you very much. You'll be coming back later in the evening for the conclusion of this meeting. Thank you very much, all of you. Thank you. The guy fed the camera ahead. <laughs> Yeah. Thank God. Did you find that you're dressed up? Are you still going home? It's like, you know, uh, as usual, we have an appointment to meet with some politicians. Politicians? Yeah. Politicians? Yeah. Politicians? Yeah. Politicians? Yeah. Up to you, huh? You mean all the advice has been given to you? Not even taking up a decision? <sighs> Woman, what is it with you now? Mm -hmm. Let me get you clear. Okay, my husband, my dear husband, mm -hmm. as your wife, your lovely wife, I want you to step down. For younger generations, I want you to step down. We've been here for the past 16 years, my dear husband. Nothing to show for it. Also strike every now and then. Insecurity everywhere. Mm -hmm. Hunger in the land. People are dying. My husband, people 
people are dying, people are talking. My husband, step down for younger generation for Christ's sake. You have not achieved anything. Will you just look at, let me just ask you how what have you achieved for this past 16 years? Tell me. Honey, serve me water. Please. No, 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 no. We are discussing something. I want to know the tell ahead of the whole thing today. Tell me. If I am still the man of this house, serve me water. My husband, people are talking. You're dragging our family name to the mud. Okay. Okay. You know I'm not good at making noise and talking much. But I want you to get it straight. So if you are completely satisfied with yourself, it is a sure way that progress is coming to an end. No. You get me? No, that position is not your family legacy. Hmm. It's not your inheritance, my husband. You don't have monopoly of ideas. There are people out there that can even do better work than you. Okay, let me come this way. People with myopic understanding and little my thinks every small thing is a mountain. Look at you. You are a very beautiful woman. The wife of Honorable Mark. All oh, thanks to God. In my state, as an honorable member of uh, the House of Representatives, you have to understand that nothing good comes easy. There are challenges we must conquer. And I have to be there. No, 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 no. You've lost ideas. You've lost ideas, my dear husband. Step down. Honey. There are better people that can perform this business better than you, my husband. Honey, Step understand down. me. Look at our house. No, Look no. at our properties. No, I'm not can I talk to you as I'm my not wife? Interested. I'm as your wife. I'm advising you to step down. But listen to me. Oh. Listen to me. I am never a party to failure. Mother, you're so stubborn. And I will never stop. I will never succumb. I will never step down for anybody. So stubborn. I bought the votes. I bought you're the votes. You're so stubborn. I've always been supported by this time around. Cut me out. You're your own. Will you listen? I'm no more interested. I have the godfathers to settle. I have bills to pay. I have my projects here and there to complete. And I still have to continue my journey. 16 tenure. years, my dear husband. It's not enough. 16 years. It's not enough. Is it your family property? It's never my family property, and it is my family property. I am a citizen of this nation. <laughs> and I should complete my tenure like the ones there. I'm your wife, and I'm going to say that women have power. Hmm. I must make sure that you, you stand down whether I like it or not. You want to partake in the opposition? Yes. Uh, you know your son is in overseas. How do you feel the peace if I should step down? I'm not interested. I have projects. I'm not interested, in my husband. 16 years without any achievement, I'm not interested. What I must say is like you have been bought over. Yes, sweetheart. Because I'm a human being too. Also, I've always supported me. This time I am going to work against you. But in I love you. You have to listen to me. No, 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 no. It's not matter of law. Viewers, this is Uncle Africa TV, and I'm by name Joan. Um, if you like what you see, please click on the subscribe button. Make sure you follow us on our YouTube, our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as we'll be giving it to you back to back. Bye, guys. I love you. Hello, fans. My name is Sylvia Precious. This is Uncom African TV. Subscribe on our YouTube. Follow us on our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter as we'll be giving it to you back to back. Love you all.